we're going to explain the example that validates the adaptive turning strategy developed within the Procoda El Cartiac project. Nowadays, the turning process of workpieces with leftover material or large cams is usually performed manually by measuring certain common dimensions, such as the maximum diameter and thickness of some areas, and then adjusting the numeric control for each workpiece. If this manual verification is not possible, a generic turning program is applied, based on the geometry of the workpiece with the largest expected dimensions and deviations. In both cases, machining programs are not totally efficient, since safety margins are used and consequently, aiming to prevent collisions, there are non-productive periods of time. The currently performed task solves this problem. First, when the workpiece is secured, it is scanned. In the present case, the workpiece is a large part, coming from a previous forging process, courtesy of Alma Advanced Forge Solutions. It has been measured by a system based on structured light, the Photoneo Foxy scan. In the next step, the scan geometry is verified and the external circular surface with the largest radius is calculated. This is achieved by developing a program that automatically detects and measures the external shape of the 3D cloud of points obtained by the camera. This will be the input geometry for generating trajectories of adaptive turning. As we can see, the trajectory is extremely precise. In other words, it requires a synchronous movement between tool and workpiece, as the tool follows a spiral oval shape that prevents non-desired interruptions in the cutting process. The system also takes into account the dynamic capacity of the machine in order to carry out this strategy efficiently. Next, a machine code to perform adaptive machining is generated. As we can see, the code uses a special Siemens function, M18 of Synumeric 840D control. Finally, the code is loaded to the CNC of the machine and it is run. Certain moments of the first steps of the adaptive machining can now be seen. Aiming to validate the strategy of adaptive machining, the image is amplified and the generation of eccentricity in the industry part can be seen, as well as the adaptation of rotational and longitudinal movements. In the next images, several moments of the process can be seen. They show the adaptive machining along the external diameter of the industrial part. Finally, the last steps and the removal of the tool are shown. Summing up, an adaptive machining strategy has been developed and validated based on high-level interpolations for the machining of workpieces with leftover material and industrial parts. This strategy could be integrated as a manufacturing cycle into the CNC of the machine so as to enable the user to substantially optimise the reliability and productivity of the turning processes of these kind of workpieces.